So we're back for video number three in our getting started with Pro Tools. So we've gone through the basic boring stuff, so now we're gonna dig right in and start making some music. In this video, we're gonna show you how to create an instrument tracks, MIDI tracks, setting up your ins and outs, and naming your tracks so you can get into it. So let's go one step further. Let's make some new tracks and get a little music going. So let's create a new track. You can go to the track window and it says create a new track. Now that is shift command N, which we're gonna use that from now on, shift command N. Stereo track and we're gonna make it an instrument track and we're gonna call this drum. So any good session is going to start with drums. Drums are always red for me. So let's make the output one and two. And let's find drums. I'm going to use Superior Drummer. And that's going to pop up. And we're going to load up a drum set that I like. We'll just pick this one. Bob Rock Rock Kit 1. This is a nice sounding drum set. I have some custom kits in here, but I'm not going to bother with that. Now, with Superior Drummer, what's really cool is you could uh, you could just call up beats and pop them in, drop them on the timeline, and you have you're getting sounds already with a real drummer playing. That's good, but if you don't have Superior and you just want to learn how to program, let's let's roll with that. So, an instrument track you notice has record, so we could record right on the instrument track by playing in the MIDI on the keyboard. But what I prefer to do is to create new MIDI tracks. So I'm gonna do three tracks and they're gonna be MIDI. And we're gonna hit the button and there they are. And I'm gonna make those kind of reddish and I'll make them a different color red so we know the difference. First one I'm gonna call kick. So what I did was I double clicked on this area where the name is and I'm going to rename it kick. Now I could hit the next button and go to the next one SD for snares, but the shortcut to move to the next track is command and the right arrow, and I'll name that hat. Then we have to take the output of these and assign them to Superior Drummer Channel 1. Now, rather than doing all of these, right, every each of them, the three of them, here's another good quick shortcut, shift option, then select, and they all go there. So we'll make the view bigger so you can see it. So they're all Superior Drummer, Channel 1. So thanks again for watching these Pro Tools Tips videos. We do appreciate it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Also hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so we can let you know when we have more like this coming. Feel free to send us any messages or comments. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any ideas or if I missed anything or if you have any key commands, shortcuts that I don't know about, I'd love to learn them from you. Thanks again.